Hi, my name is Dervla. I live in Ireland and I have a big, big love for our culture, for our stories, for our mythology, for our language. And I've always felt that our music in particular is a massively important part of us and who we are. It's been used for centuries to carry stories through and help future generations remember what's happened in the past. And um, it's really beautiful. And I was lucky enough in my house to be reared where music and Irish music was a massive part of day to day life, where our culture and heritage was celebrated all the time. So that sent, set my foundations uh, as an adult so much better to be able to learn more. And the thing is with Ireland, it's been around for a really long time and there's a lot to learn. <laughs> there's a lot to learn, you know, even though we grow up learning all about our culture and our heritage and our music and our language, there's never enough time to learn it all. <laughs> so um, as I continuously try to expand my own knowledge about my own culture, I thought I would start recording some videos and see if any of the bits of information that I come across might be of interest to somebody else. So of all the different parts of our culture, like I said, music is one of my favourites. So I decided to start with looking at a few Irish ballads and then maybe we can move on to looking at a few rebel songs, a few Irish rock tunes, uh, some more modern Irish music. But to start today, I thought that we'd look at the song The Rocky Road to Dublin because it's one of my favourites. So I'm going to play it for you first and then we will have a chat about it afterwards. Well, in the merry month of June, we first went home and started, left the girls and she was so sad and broke my heart. It's a looted father, dear. It's me, darling, mother, and drank a pint of beer. Me grief and tears just went enough to reap the corn. Leave where I was born, brought a stout card to banish those and goblins, bought a pair of robes, rattled over the box, frightened all the dogs. On the rocky road to Dublin, one, two, three, four, five. On the hair, turn her down the rocky road. All the ways to Dublin, work for Lally Rock. That is the Rocky Road to Dublin and when you look into the song there's so many different bits and pieces that are fascinating. It sounds so simple but <laughs> Irish and Ireland and Irish culture and Irish history it's never, never, never straightforward and simple. So the story talks about a young man who leaves his home in uh, County Galway in Tulum and he decides to travel across Ireland over to Dublin and get the boats over to England presumably to look for work. So the story starts out, he leaves his mom and his dad, he hits the road and he takes with him a, a blackthorn stick as well as a new pair of brogues, which are shoes. The reason he took a blackthorn stick was because all throughout Irish culture and history and legends, you'll hear either blackthorns or hawthorns used, both to ward off ghosts, to ward off spirits, to do a lot of good work. 
in the other realm. So then he continues on his journey. He arrives in Mullingar, which is in County Westmeath. So he has left the west coast of Ireland and is heading for the east coast of Ireland. And the distance that he travelled in that one day was 154 kilometres. So I'd just like to point out that this man has some serious set of calves on him. Like to be able to walk 154 kilometres. And I checked it out in Google Maps. So it's 23 hours of walking until he reached Mullingar. So by the time he got there, he had little rest and he had a few tipples with the lassies and they slagged him over his attire and his outfit and he hit the road again. And then he went out to Dublin and when he got to Dublin, he thought he'd do a bit of sightseeing and he was traveling with one of those things, you know, you see them in movies with a stick and like a, a handkerchief hanging behind with all this stuff in it. And he's setting off down the road with one of them and then he glances over the shoulder and he realizes it's gone. And so he turns to a road that's standing there, he assumes is the, the suspect. And when he confronts the gentleman, the gentleman starts slagging his conic accent. And so he says, he doesn't let this get him down. He continues on his way again. So he heads over to the quay, or in this song we call it K, because it's just accent, K. So he heads over to quay. There is a ship there with a captain on it. And he says, is there any room for Paddy? And the captain says, no, no room for Paddy. But it's okay because he slips on when no one's looking and hangs out with the pigs. And it says that he danced some hearty rigs. He played some hearty rigs and danced some hearty jigs. And I have like visualizations of like Jack and Rose on the Titanic. Do you know what I mean? But then I was thinking about it. And if he is actually a dancer, it would explain the ridiculous amount of calf muscle that he probably has and why he'd be able to walk 154 kilometers in one day. It makes perfect sense. If he's an Irish dancer, that makes it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Those guys have bionic calves and incredible leg power. So if he was a dancer, I can totally understand why he'd, why he'd walk 154 kilometers in one day. It makes sense. He gets on the boat, has a little shindig with the people and the pigs and all sorts. And then they arrive over in Hollyhead. He's heading towards Liverpool. And when he hops off the boat there, there is a lovely group of men waiting for him. And they start calling him names. And he says that his blood began to boil. And then they started slagging Ireland. And that just didn't sit so well. And all his repressed frustrations from every other incident during the song erupts. And he goes for them. He launches himself at this group of lads. And... While he does that, there's another group of Galway boys passing by. They see what's going on. They join in and they help him clear the way so he can continue on his journey. And I just like to make special reference in this. In this verse, he says, Shillelagh, I left fly. Galway boys were nigh. And the shillelagh that he's talking about is a stick. It's like a very common walking stick type thing in Ireland. And when I was looking a little bit deeper into this song recently, I decided I'd go investigate Shillelagh a little bit more because it's something that I've heard of, but I don't know a whole lot about the history of. And this is what I mean, there's so much to learn, it never ends. So I went and had a look, what is, what exactly is a Shillelagh? And a Shillelagh is a stick that's made from blackthorn. Obviously, this makes so much sense as to why he was carrying a blackthorn stick, it's a Shillelagh. Shillelagh is even more interesting because in Ireland, this is again, one of the complicated things. The names of our villages now are anglicised, but the anglicised names come from the original Irish name. So when you look at any name of a town in Ireland now, if you translate it back to Irish, you can get a really good feeling for the history of that place because the name of the place is named after whatever happened there. So Shillelagh is a place in Wicklow and Shillelagh translated back into Irish is Sheil Eilig. And Sheil, S-I-F-O-L, that's the word for a seed. An Aelig comes from a name. So Aelig refers to Aelach, Aelach MacFelcon. And he was a warrior who lived in the area of Wicklow. And he trained his people with sticks for weapons. His followers were called the Aelig because they were the seeds of him. And they were so ferocious and so well known that not only were the people called Seal Aelig, but also the land was called Tulelig and also the weapon was called Tulelig. It all became synonymous with them because they made such an imprint. And I was really happy to find that out because I love, I love learning new things and there's just so much, there's just so much, you can never know it all. So there's constantly new things to find and new things to learn. And I hope that you learned something from watching this and I hope you enjoyed that little bit about Shillelaghs because that was all news to me. 
and if you have any questions about the song that I did today, any other songs that you would like me to do, or any questions about Ireland in general, please post them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And talk to you soon. Slam.